Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of Hoi4 Form Rules A to Z, and today we will be forming the Baltic Federation. Yeah, uh, just ignore that that uh, five second pause that you just heard. Uh, yeah, we're forming the Baltic Federation. And no, I will not take any criticism about this in the comment section. So of course, to form the Baltic Federation, we're gonna have to pick a country uh, that is not Ethiopia. It's gonna it's gonna be Latvia that we're gonna pick today to form the Baltic Federation. I think it's the strongest of the three Baltic nations. I'm not really sure. We start off with ten divisions. Not not too shabby, I guess. I, I guess it's good for the Baltic states, but it's kind of mid. You heard her here first. I think. Latvia, Estonia, and Lithuania all mid. If you disagree with me in the comments, I will promptly ban you. Of course, to form a good and healthy country that is not corrupt at all, we're gonna suspend the constitution. Like, not, nothing fishy there at all. It seems there are a few paths to form the Baltic Federation. We can do the communist path, we can do the, the fascist path, the democratic path. We keep doing fascist on this series, so I kind of want... Let's go for a little change of pace, actually. Instead of suspend the constitution, I might do restore the workers' republic here. And it seems Germany is going to go fascist, so... They're not going Empire, which is actually kind of rare on this series. They, they always go Empire, every video. Do we want to go Soviet help? or no help. Is there any advantage to doing this one? Because like, all I see is that they're gonna hate me <laughs> if I pick this one. So I guess I'm gonna go with the Soviets' help. Holy shit, what is this stability? Zero percent! I've never seen it reach zero. Maybe the Soviet path was not the best idea. Oh, and also we're getting zero political power per day. I think this is the worst path, honestly, so far. Alright, let's become a Soviet puppet. Yeah, woo! Going to democratic or fascist path probably wouldn't have ended up in me becoming a puppet. All right, we're in a civil war now. I guess we'll, let's win the civil war real quick. Holy shit, why do they have so many units? What the fuck? Also, we have like this knockoff Sigmund Freud looking ass guy as our leader now. Maybe the communist path was a mistake. Like how it takes 70 days to ask the Soviets for direct intervention in the war. We're probably gonna win this before the 70 days pass. We've taken out our like east flank, so I guess we'll just attack here. Like their units seem to be more shit than ours. I think it's because we have better generals as well. I think we'll be able to capture our cap capital here and win. There we go. Okay. Well, we are the Latvian independent SSR now, except we're not really independent. Th this communist path better redeem itself. All of our army was volunteer forces, so now we have one unit. Oh, that's amazing. Okay, we've done what every communist worth their salt has done. Alright, we're gonna squash all the resistance because this Catholic opposition thing is actually ruining my country. Oh, it doesn't even get rid of Catholic opposition. It just makes it slightly less worse. What the f- are the Forest Brothers. I guess I'm gonna have to crush these guys. Are the Forest Brothers canon? Or did, like did Hoi 4 just invent them? 40% less factory out there? Oh yeah, I have to get rid of them then. Holy shit. I have to get rid of the Forest Brothers. Are the Forest Brothers like Paul Brothers? If they were like terrorists? I mean, one of the Paul Brothers does have a correlation with the Forest. Alright, we're crushing the Forest Brothers in 35 days. I will no longer tolerate these Paul Brothers doing whatever they please in my forests. Okay, so we've killed the Forest Brothers, so that's good. We can get more units by doing this, okay. We do have to get ready to kill uh, Estonia and Lithuania, our neighbors. Although we're probably gonna get Soviet help, so it's, it's not that bad. We got our riflemen, wow. We can now somewhat cover our front with Finland. I will try to stir some shit up in our neighbors. Oh no, the game froze. That means Soviets going into civil war. That's not good. That is really not good. Oh, apparently we can start a civil war, a communist civil war in both of them. I guess I guess we'll do that then. It has begun. God, that's a pathetic civil. What is this? How are they gonna win? There's no way for them to win. Guess I'll have to send volunteers to both of them. Oh, great. The German Reich just destroyed Memel, so alright. Well, that's over for the communist revolution there. Yeah, this is just a mess. I don't know why it's taking them more than a week to arrive there when they're going from here. How? It, it, we have a border. Alright, well, we're gonna take Tallinn apparently, so alright. Well, that's dead. Now we just have to kill Iron Wolf Lithuania. How is the Soviet? Oh, my goodness. Yeah, Stalin, just abdicate at this point, man. It, it, it ain't worth it. So I've gotten rid of Estonia with a United Baltic SSR, and now I've gained core on Lithuania, so I'm gonna have to kill them real- we're a subject, so we cannot declare wars! Amazing! We have formed it, but it's not really- it's not satisfying, right? We don't have Lithuania, which is very unfortunate. And now we can do wars against Poland, Denmark, or Finland. I think we'd get our asses kicked by all of them. Oh, and even if we wanted to invade Poland, they're at fucking Reich's Commissariat of Germany, so everything's going our way this campaign. Our uh, civil war is kind of stagnating. I don't know what the hell they're doing. Why aren't they moving? Why is France in the Corfu Cooperative? That uh, Corfu Cooperative seems Late. Probably better than 
common turn. They just asked this child, oh, uh, yo, you wanna, you wanna, wanna, wanna be with Hitler? And he was like, yeah. Oh, great, now Lithuania's completely gone. Oh, wow, what a great run this is. I guess uh, Stalin is gonna win this civil war. I mean, if they don't build up their forces soon enough, though, they're, they are actually screwed. 65 divisions against, what is it? Oh, my. Our master, the Soviet Union, need our help and call this into the Soviet civil war. I mean, I don't think they really need our help anymore. Okay, master, I shall. Okay, so we somehow managed to squeak out a win against the SSSR. Oh, what have you done, Stalin? What is this? Socialist Galiza, Soviet Spain, Soviet Spain. Why would you split it up like this? This man's sick. We're not gonna win against the Germans with that kind of intelligence. Holy shit. The Japanese Shogun joins the- Oh, we're f We're actually screwed. The Soviet Union joined the Balkan- Huh? Disregarding the missing royal family for a second. Huh? Oh, well, that's just... Oh, we're gonna die. Alright, I guess we'll start our little incursion into Poland. We're gonna die here, I think. As you can see, it's going amazingly here. On all fronts, clearly. My goodness. Oh my god. Yep, yeah, I'm gonna have to reset. I'm gonna reset. We're going democratic this time. Alright, let's start over a new leaf, shall we? We'll keep it at Latvia. But this time, we're gonna go democratic. As much as I think democratic paths for countries are very boring, I'm gonna try for Latvia. Who knows? Maybe it's good. Maybe Latvia's democratic path is good. Alright, we've appeased the Democrats. Alright, we need to get rid of the, the, the percon crusts. So, better better do the sun shines equally. You know, like, like tell them racism is bad. We're, we're gonna banish Selmins. I don't care if I'm pronouncing that wrong. It says Selmins, okay. Uh, let's get state cap capitalism because we're not communist anymore okay so now let's become democratic in 70 days all right so we're democratic now and we have this nerd as our leader so that's cool all right so let's do the baltic entente i guess you know before before integrating them okay so we can either make the faction or we can just abandon the entente can we still integrate them if they're in our faction okay yeah, i can't move on to these unless i am the faction leader so i guess we are going to formalize the baltic entente and estonia didn't join for some reason thank you estonia bastard all right Right, they're dead. We killed them now. I mean, they had it coming. How dare they reject us? Latvia doesn't take no's. Now let's try to march into Tallinn here. Let's try to capture Narva here. And it should be over, pretty much. They're still not dead. Holy shit. Okay. There we go. Okay. I'm not really gonna puppet them. I'm just gonna take their land. Okay, let's see if the Scandinavians accept our offer here. Finland rejects. Oh, okay. I'm assuming Sweden also rejects, but Denmark accepted. Okay. Well, this is kind of a mid-alliance. Lithuania declared war in Poland. What the fuck? They're killing themselves. What are they doing? Hopefully that was a glitch and Lithuania doesn't actually declare war on Poland. Oh my god, it's inevitable. The war is inevitable. You can't be serious. Why are they just dying like this? Actual insanity. They also have Romania on their side. Like, it's unwinnable. Okay, so I have a game theory, right? I think it's because they think that we're gonna come to help them. Even though with all of our countries combined, we still wouldn't be able to beat Poland and Romania. It'd be impossible. So what if I just kicked them from the faction before they declare war? Would they even still declare the war? I severely doubt it. If they do, they're actually morons. There's no way the AI is genuinely this stupid. There's no way. Yeah, that's why I thought, okay, the war isn't starting. Even if they're not in our faction, we can still get Baltic unification and kill them. All right, so now we're going to do Baltic unification, which is going to give us an annexed country war goal against these motherfuckers. I mean, they want to die so bad. I'm, uh, I'm glad to oblige. Okay, so now we have a... I don't know where a war goal went. I, I thought we were supposed to get a war goal with this. Oh, Lithuania gets a war goal on us. Huh. Why would I... Huh? What's the point of this focus if it gives the enemy a war goal? Am I the dumb one here? I, I probably am, but still. Oh, okay, well, they declared war anyway, and they're gonna lose. Okay, well, that's lucky for me. I guess we'll call Denmark in, whatever. Man, I wish I had more than 10 divisions. I wish we had manpower. All right, well, Lithuania's dead, so that's good. Wow, look at that. We can do the thing. <laughs> the Baltic Federation. <laughs> Finally. And by the way, look at the Axis again. It's massive. Uh, I think we should join the Allies, honestly. Oh, I should have gotten extensive conscription while while I was still at war. We still only have 52k manpower. Damn, no one lives in the Baltics, man. Norway. Okay, time to ditch the faction. I'm not joining. I'm not fighting the German Reich right now. I'll commit seppuku before joining Norway against the German Reich. Oh, did I just see the United States join the Allies? Shit. Okay, I'm gonna try to join the Allies as soon as possible. Then I will be carried to victory. Okay, so I'm gonna dismantle.
dismantle my own faction. I guess I'm gonna join the Allies. Ah, uh, well, that's unfortunate. As you can see, I'm kind of scheming a bit in Germany here. <laughs> I'm, I'm increasing democratic support in the country. Slowly but surely, Germany will be democratized. This is a sad day for America. The Molotov Ribbentrop Pact? It's 1942. What are you on about? I really wish I had more than zero manpower. Holy shit. All right, now we only have to get Germany down to 35% stability, and then we can orchestrate a coup, which is going to take another fucking year. Ah, amazing development. And they declared war on Vichy France. Okay, I guess Italy has had enough of this game and just decided to kill themselves. Can't blame them, honestly. Oh, it maxes out at 20%, minus 20%. How am I gonna get it to 35 then? Shit. 36%. Please reach 35, I beg of you. Amazing news. Delightful. Isn't it cool how almost the entirety of continental Eurasia is in the Axis? Alright, it's reached 35, you know what that means. We can start the coup. I guess not. We don't have 70% network strength. Oh yeah, would you look at that? All right, probably because half of our spies are in prison. All right, we at seventy percent now, boys, and we still can't do it. Oh, it's less than thirty-five percent. So I hate this game. One day it's gonna reach thirty-four, right? One day. Oh, now we're back at forty percent. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna do a bit of trolling. I'm gonna tag Germany. Let's give them minus ten percent stability. All right, I'm gonna orchestrate a coup with some of my best spies around. A target state. I guess a coastal state would be good. One where the British can easily flood in. I might do Hanover. One more month. The German Republic declared war on the German Reich. Oh, um, we have done it. We just have to hope that the British put all of their army there. The British usually pounce on the chance to do like a, a sneaky thing like this, but this time they're sending what one division. Uh, this is not gonna work. They're gonna get pulverized. How pathetic. This is probably the most pathetic civil war that's ever happened in a Hoi 4 game. If this civil war fails, I'm just gonna reset the game one more time and play fascist at this point. That's right, I'm gonna go through all three paths into a single video. The civil war, I worked so hard and may have cheated a bit for end of the civil war i worked so hard to have for four years all destroyed all turned to dust in a few months it's enough to make a grown man cry really we're gonna reset so might as well go out with a bang right all right i guess we're not even going off a bang because we can't make a goddamn breakthrough i'm gonna come back tomorrow and we're playing fascist baltic states Okay, so I am back the next day, and if I could remember correctly, yesterday, uh, I completely miserably failed my communist and democratic paths of trying to form the Baltic Federation thing uh, because of my lack of skill. So this time, I'm going to do the least skilled, most brainless play of forming the Baltic Union thing, and that is to go fascist. At first, if you don't succeed, just turn to fascism. <laughs> I shouldn't say that on YouTube. All right, so once again, we're going to suspend the constitution, you know. Okay, Germany's going civil war. I, the one time that it's good for them to stay fascist, they go civil war. Amazing. I love the paradox strategy game, Hearts of Iron 4. And especially its non-historical AI mode. This game has a mind of its own, I swear. I might get diagnosed with, like, a mental disease for saying that, but I, I swear, guys. I swear. I'm not just imagining things. Okay, we're gonna do Latvia for Latvians because we don't like people from Estonia and Lithuania. All right, well, since we're not gonna be able to align ourselves with Germany, we're, I guess we're gonna go for the Thunder Roars alone, which sounds cooler than it's gonna be because I think we're the only fascists here now. Next, okay, other than Italy, I guess we'll join the Rome Protocols or whatever. But having Italy as an ally is like mid. All right, the Thunder Roars alone. <laughs> yeah, Thunder Cross Latvia. All right, I guess we're gonna free the Un because that's gonna help us uh, kill our neighbors. We've already done it twice. All right, the Pact of Rome. All right, we've freed the Ungun crusts. See, we could promote Baltic fascism, but we're gonna go for a more extreme approach where we demand their annexation. Let's improve relations, right? They're totally gonna accept if we improve relations. Okay, they really love us, so they better accept their annexation demand. Although I think this focus is designed for them to just refuse and we just get a war goal on them. Estonia refuses. Okay, they both refuse. Let's kill our weaker neighbor first. Okay, we made a breakthrough. It should be over kind of soon here. We're about to capture Tallinn. Time to march to Vor. Alright, well we got surrounded, so that's not a really good sign actually.
All right, Sigma rule number one, turn any disadvantage into an advantage. All right, we're gonna capture Vor here, so. Yeah, it's my favorite Estonian town. I'm definitely not mispronouncing it. Hopefully that word doesn't get me demonetized. All right, we're gonna do reorganize the Forest Brothers because they're on our side, actually, for once. All right, Estonia is dead, so that's good. Let's just take all of their territory. All right, let's kill our southern brother here. We're already gonna capture Kaunas, so that wasn't a very valiant effort from the Lithuanians, I must say. All right, Lithuania is in three pieces now. Damn, Lithuania was actually weaker than Estonia. Huh, look at that. We actually have manpower too. Holy shit. The wrath of the old gods. If anyone can channel the wrath of the old gods, it's the Baltic states. My favorite focus. This is going in the thumbnail. Okay, so the fourth international exists, so that's not good. We might have to declare war on Poland pretty quick. Let me get the war gold uh, just to be ready anytime. Okay, what would happen if we said never? I'm surprised they're not declaring war. Okay, that's weird. It doesn't say that they have a war goal against us. I think the situation right now is if I were to declare war on Poland, they'll immediately join the 4th International, and I cannot kill both the USSR and Poland at the same time. Let alone, I don't even think I could kill Poland alone. Could I join the Central Powers even? So Germany does guarantee our independence for some reason. I guess they don't want the Soviets to get us. I don't know when Germany's gonna form the Central Powers, but I do want to join that so that I can declare war on Poland and Soviet Union. Oh, well that's not what I wanted. Why? You're communist! Why did they allow them? I mean, I joined the Pact of Rome, but they're unable to kill Switzerland, so it's kind of- I'd be joining a club of just people who can't defeat Switzerland. Switzerland. The German Empire is feeling threatened by us. Let's just do a quick comparison of our armies. Yeah, I can see why now. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna join the Pact of Rome. We are struggling here very much. How many people have died to try to capture Switzerland? Holy shit. We have lost 1.53 million and they've only lost 281k. Holy shit. Austria-Hungary reformed? Oh, they betrayed the Pact of Rome now. They're, now they're in the Central Powers. Okay, well that, I'm kind of sad now. I've been left in the wind. Now the Pact of Rome is just Italy. That's pathetic. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm leaving the Pact of Rome. Yeah, I'm the leader of the Pact of Rome now. I'm gonna abolish this faction. And they're probably not gonna let me in, but I'm gonna join the Central Powers. God damn it. So they let Sweden in? They're literally letting everyone in other than me. Come on, man. Oh, wait, never mind. They invited me. We're in the Central Powers now. All right, time to start a war. Okay, we have finished justification. Now is no longer the time to wait. We fight now. And we call these guys in. You know it's not going as well as it should when the Soviets have less casualties than you. We are clearly struggling to push into Romania, though. I don't know what's happening down there. Oh, that's a nasty encirclement. Moscow is ours. Alright, we've taken Trotsky Grad. I don't know, Baltic Unitary State? Kind of carrying. To <laughs> totally not the Germans carry. The European Coalition, France and Greece. I like how France has had nothing to do this whole game, so they just decided, yeah, let's align ourselves with Greece. What a, what a great faction this is. What what are these members? Like, I don't get it. Why are they involved? What? <laughs> Turkey joined the Central Powers. Ah, uh, yeah, that's like lore accurate, yeah. Alright, so I've called Turkey in so that they get rid of the Caucasus for us. Alright, so Romania is dead, and Soviet Union should also also be getting there after this we still have to kill the uk so i think i'm gonna do the you know my my classic you know old patented airdrop trick into britain okay so soviet union dead so now i'm just gonna try to train up some pair droppers and then kill the uk i think i'm actually gonna kill this benelux faction real quick so that i have a closer place to put an airport to drop here okay so let's declare war okay let's walk on to amsterdam Okay, Luxembourg capitulated and that somehow caused this to happen. I, I thought we needed to kill, you know, the, the faction leader. Okay, so I took some of the Benelux here and I also took uh, these two for the for the rubber, you know. Oh, and also we have a fleet now because I stole the Dutch's fleet. Oh, wait, we're at War of France now? Okay, let's just go to Paris here. I guess my little campaign to capture this airport was futile because we're about to get French airports. Okay, we're about to take Mr. Brest here. That's good. All right, so France is dead. Okay, and now these borders may look horrendous but look at least we got land i honestly don't think we deserve any land but look at us with our 144 factories strikes woo it wouldn't be hoi 4 without strikes let me tell you that the, the reason hoi 4 took so long to come out is because paradox devised for years a way to make the strikes mechanic perfect and i think they really nailed it actually we have a lot of naval supremacy okay that gives me an idea oh we haven't figured out how to do naval invasions all right time to research it 
Okay. Uh, yeah, I love researching things that other countries can already do. Who the hell's this guy? Wendell Wilkie? Oh shit, the pair droppers worked. Okay, we only have like 73%. I don't know why they launched, but uh, I'm not complaining. Let's destroy the British. Oh, look at these allies flooding in to try to steal the credit. Hell no. Well, let's get Glasgow. There we go. Wait, why hasn't the war- Is there another major? No way. No, that's bullshit. Sierra Leone is a major. A country with 3 to 8 divisions and 10 factories is a major. This game finds every excuse to not just end a war. Paradox will literally cope and try to tell you that Sierra Leone, this, is a major nation. Alright, well I guess we're naval invading it. Haha, <laughs> yeah, fun, fun, fun. Alright, we'll naval invade from Morocco into Sierra Leone, I guess. Yippee! Honestly, it'd be funny to just answer, you Italians have nothing to offer us. But I think I'm just gonna I'm just gonna practice naval things with them, sure, whatever. With the with the world renowned Italian Navy. And of course we don't have naval supremacy. I like how we were able to get naval supremacy in the English channel, but not here for some reason. Are you telling me the UK cared less about the English channel than the coast of West Africa? They're a colony. A colony is holding this war. Iran is a major too now? Is every country a major i feel like i'm gonna go insane why is communist china down in guangxi honestly since i can't get any naval supremacy i'm gonna try to bring this video full circle i'm gonna try to coup sierra leone he's clearly pushing through this isn't gonna work either because of the lack of i was gonna say supply but probably lack of anything here all right so we can do a coup in Sierra Leone. And this time it only takes 140. Sorry, that's the collab government. It takes 180 days. Oh, I can't even do a coup because their only state is their capital state. <laughs> Ah! Uh, also, I don't know what these clowns are doing in Iran. They've been doing this for like the last year. I don't know what they're doing or trying to do. Why aren't they pushing into Iran? Why don't they just finish them off? Please just do something. Don't make me test the first nuke ever made on Iran. Please, I beg of you guys. Wait, what if I orchestrated a coup in the Union of Britain and set the target state to be like Liberia? Then they can kill them for us. 279 days, alright? Well, that's what phones are for. This hasn't moved. This has not moved in two years. I'm sending troops. Okay, I think now I see why they didn't do it. It takes centuries for these troops to move. Holy shit. Oh, this is torture. This is actually torture. We just need one more town, actually. We don't even need to go all the way to... You know what? Go to Ahvaz instead. What? The Commonwealth of Socialist Republics seeks Latvian integration. The Commonwealth of Socialist Republics demanded the immediate annexation of the Baltic Unitary State. Why would I ever do that? Are they insane? They just demanded, oh yeah, uh, you should join us. The audacity. Oh my god, now they're actively defending. Okay, well, that's what the nuclear bomb is for right? We're nuking Ahvaz and then marching into it, hopefully. Yes, please, please just finish Iran off, I beg. Yes, Iran is done. Iran has been cancelled. How's the coup going? 11th of August 1947, I guess we'll wait. Alright, well the coup is supposed to start in like now. Now we just have to hope the British Empire defeats Sierra Leone. Look at the whole central powers sending your troops just to take Sierra Leone. They're as tired of this as I am. This is my punishment probably for like my scummery this video. Just trying as communist failing, trying as democratic failing. And this is my punishment. It's over. Finally. Alright, peace conference is over and look at these ugly ass borders. Whoo, look at that. Look at these hideous borders. Yeah, so I took southern England. Oh god, this looks horrendous. Oh man. And oh, don't even get me started on whatever this abomination is. I just can't explain it. Polish, Lithuanian, Russia is like the same color as Poland, Lithuania and they have all of Russia, so but yeah, you know what? Uh, what we won fascist? I think we did a bit better, you know? 346 factories, not too shabby, not too shabby. We did better than Poland. That's what's important here. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, it was like three videos into one. Three terribly mid horrible videos packed into one. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. Uh, I'm just gonna go to sleep and cry now because of what I've just had to go through. Good night, folks. Uh, see you all in the next upload. Polish, Lithuanian, Norway.
Alright, hello, it's post editing me here. I'd like to thank channel member user one underscore user one for joining the channel membership thingy. Uh, if you want me to say your username in a very monotone voice at the end of videos, uh, you can join uh, my channel thing membership. Uh, you also get early access to videos. And the reason I'm reading out your usernames in a monotone voice is not because I'm not thankful, it's because I finish editing my videos in the AMs usually, and I'm very tired. Uh, but anyways, hope you enjoyed. See ya.